This is Brian Watkins and this is my video tutorial for pivot tables. In particular we're looking at table D5 which is going to produce a column by column comparison. We want to see a quarterly report of the total orders of each salesperson but we also want to limit it to a certain country being in this case just the uh, UK. So we go to the data we insert pivot table equals now let's read this carefully what we're doing this time is we're using a uh, quarterly report of total orders of each salesperson so let's try the salesperson and let's look at their order date and their order date comes up in quarters for us um, I think that is because I've done this before on this computer. Let me show you what would happen if we did it without a group. Let's click out. We'll ungroup it. Right now, that is what your data looks like when you select your order date. It's all of the dates that were given in your data field. It always helps to go back and take a quick look. You can see that there's no quarter information here. So what is going on? What has happened is you've grouped the data. To group the data, you list it, you right click in the field, and you use the group function. The group function is interesting because you can you could literally do down to the second. Um, here we have each date. Here we have months and quarters. And what would happen is it would just create two separate um, columns for you. We don't need a column with the months in it. So let's ungroup and let's just group it as far as quarters. So now we have quarters. Quarter 1, 2, 3, and 4. Um, there are some, what, what's interesting to me is that there are some years involved. So if we ungroup it, let's look and see if when we regroup we can put years and quarters and see what comes up. There we go. I think that one makes more sense because that shows that we don't just have four quarters in our report. Uh, we have quarters that come from other years. It would kind of orphan the information if it just listed the quarters. But this way we can see that there are years behind those quarters. And of course we're trying to find out uh, what kind of sales they've had. So we go our order amount and let's go to the order amount and sum number there you go. And so those are our numbers and we also need a report filter for our country. So we'll pull that down here and the question asked us to make sure that we set it for the UK and I mentioned that. You always be sure to set it the way the question wants it set. So that looks like it complies with what we're supposed to do. There's a quarterly report of the orders of each salesperson limited to the UK. And the trick here is that when we group it just by quarters it leaves off the 03 and 05. So you need to do years and quarters in order to see all the information. Finally, good practice says that we give it a format. So let's go to, uh, that's a pretty good format. We'll leave that and save it. This table presents an, a, an excellent opportunity to highlight that you can do these tables in different ways without being in error. I could easily take my years, move them up, and move my salesperson across. So that now I can see a report that takes 2003 and tells me about my UK salespeople straight over. This report has a benefit if I'm trying to compare uh, salespeople. I can say, okay, in quarter three, I can look right here and I can identify that this Buchanan fellow is doing pretty well. 
On the other hand, if I put salesperson at the top, then I can see a progression of this salesman's sales. And I can see that after peaking in 03 in the third quarter, eh, he's not doing so well. So I hope this uh, identifies a real power of pivot tables, and that is that you can you can move the data or pivot it any way you wish, and it's still right. Um, either way you do it, if you do it this way with the salesperson first, or if you do it with the salesperson last, you're getting the same information. But there's a little bit of a difference to how it's being presented. So be mindful of that. If this were a test and if you were asked to prepare this, either way would be correct because either way meets the uh, requirements that are given in the uh, introductory page. So don't try to stress out about making it uh, look exactly like the uh, sample that I'm going to give you, but do spend some time uh, trial and error on some of these and move them around. Not all of the uh, pivot tables in our examples can be moved in this fashion. Many of the requirements can only be read in one particular way. But this is a table that, as you see, can be read in two ways.